Now I notice you are the only African American here. Yeah. How can we get more African American young ladies to get into gymnastics? I say if we just like have them come in and try it because I feel like once you try gymnastics, like you really love it. Like if we have more people come in because a lot of people don't get to experience it, so they don't know how it is. They just experience like track or basketball at school. So. So you say an exposure. Yeah. Now your nickname is Muscle. Yeah. Where did you get that name? Well, um, at my old gym, a lady used to call me that, and my dad really liked it, and everybody stuck with it. Now you're here today. You placed third. Um, it's been a long journey for you. Yeah. Talk about coming back from injury, and tell me what your injury was. Um, well, I tore three ligaments in my foot. And I had the option whether to get surgery or not. If I didn't get the surgery, I wouldn't be able to come back as strong. And I probably wouldn't have been able to do gymnastics. So I decided to go with the surgery. After the surgery, they took me out of school and practiced for like a year. I went back to school halfway into the term, so I had to double up in classes this year. Plus, I'm coming back for gymnastics. So during the summer, while everybody was like going to football games and stuff, I was in the gym practicing really hard, trying to get my skills back. I can compete level nine and be successful because next year is like my last year when get here and hopefully college. So I just had to work really hard, get back on like my diet because like after like going from working out all the time to not working out, it affects you a lot. So I had to work out a lot, go to the gym on my own hours and just every time I came into the gym, work hard and have time to slack. Now I just want to rewind just a bit. You play a sport that you love. Yeah. Bring me to the morning of you finna have surgery and you're going to sit on the operating table. What's going through your mind? Well, when they first told me it, I was I denied it. Like I was like, I'm not doing it. Plus, season was about to start and I was like ready for season. Just getting my skills. My coaches just had told me that I was gonna be able to compete level nine. And then like um, I find out that I have to have surgery and that I'm gonna be out. So I just like, I just denied the whole fact and the doctors like told me that that's the only way that I'd be stronger and I had to think about whether I wanted to be stronger and be successful in this sport and do more years or just do one year and I might crash and not be able to do it anymore. Now tell me, how did it feel to have to sit out a whole season? It felt horrible, just like going from school to home. I was like, I can't do that. It's like I just wasn't used to it. I was just at home doing nothing, like watching TV. I felt like I had no life. Like I don't know. People say you don't have a life when you're in gymnastics, but I feel like gymnastics is my life. So when I was out of it, I felt like I had no life. Plus, seeing people posting them at their meets and stuff is just like it was horrible. Now bring me through your rehab process and bring me to today. Um. So rehab started. Well, I had like this really big cast, so I wasn't able to get out of bed. So my parents had to get everything for me. Only time I was supposed to get up was like to go to the bathroom and like I couldn't really even shower, I had to take baths. And then afterwards, like mm, a little bit after I got a smaller cast and I was able to use crutches and like go to physical therapy and just like kind of do stuff. And then afterwards they put me in a boot and that was a while after because I was supposed to get a boot like after the first cast but then they said I needed another one. So then I went into a boot and then I started physical therapy and it was just, I had to like work on getting my foot stronger because I could barely even walk on it. It just like felt like walking all over again, basically. Wow, so you have your family here today. How does it feel to have them here to support you? It feels great. And like looking out to the crowd, seeing them, having them support me, video me, cheer me on, it feels great. Now, how can we monitor your success? What's your social media? Uh, my dad posts me on his social media, um, on Facebook. And I have an Instagram, but I haven't started posting yet, but I will say. Invest in your neighborhood. Invest in your neighborhood. Invest in your neighborhood. Government's not. Government's not. Government's not.